um, right after I bump up the FPS. Um, so what I'm going to do is bump this up to 13 or something like that. And what I'm going to do for the motion is I'm going to have it be I'm going to have him move in a sine wave. And I don't mean like he'll be moving left to right, up and down. He's just going to be moving up and down in one place in the y-axis. But what I mean is a sine wave where his height is a function of time. And the function is a sine wave. So I'm going to go ahead and implement it, and you'll see what I mean. Um, it just makes it smoother and especially when he gets to the end, so he doesn't just go to the end of his, or the, go to the top of his uh, flight path and then stop all of a sudden and then go to the bottom of his flight path and stop all of a sudden. This makes for a nice smooth motion in and out, in and out, so, or up and down, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give him a degrees as well. So this is gonna be a new unit Um, we'll call it units degrees and we'll just call it degrees or angle I don't know something like that flight angle and yeah so I'll go into units to make sure that we have that which we don't but we will in a second and I'll make these float so type def Float degrees. Um, and then while I'm here, I'm going to do an angular velocity, which will be in degrees per millisecond. So that'll also be a float. So we'll just call it angular velocity. Is that okay with you guys? Oh, good. I'm glad it is. So yeah, that's what we're going to do for our angular velocity, which is, yeah. Anyway, um, boo, boo, boo. so now he's got a degrees. Let's let's update his degrees, update his position by a velocity, and his velocity is going to be constant. So, or his angular velocity. So we'll give him a constant units angular velocity of k angular velocity. And this is going to be about 120 degrees per second. So to write that out, I'm going to write that as 120 degrees per second divided by 1,000 milliseconds. And that's how much his degrees are going to be increased. So we'll update that. So degrees, you know, flight angle is going to be incremented by k angular velocity times elapsed time. Okay, so now we have his flight angle updated. So let's set um, let's set his y position based on the flight angle in the draw method. So instead of updating our y value, we are going to have our y value be constant throughout the lifetime of the bat and then just have that be the center of his flight path so that we can move up and down the sine wave um, that way. So we're going to draw at, I'll give it another, I'll create another temporary constant. So const units of uh, degrees, no, gain. And this is going to be at y plus, and then we want to, okay, so here we want to take the sine of our degrees, so our flight angle, but we can't just take the sine of it because flight angle is in degrees and we need radians, so I'm going to add another conversion function in units. This is going to be kind of a weird function. Um, so inline, it'll return a float. 
degrees to radians. I'm not going to create a radians type just because uh, we don't use it. So I'll make it double actually to match standard sign. So anyway, float, no, degrees, degrees. And this is just going to return our degrees times um, pi divided by 180. So k pi divided by 180. And pi can be defined as A tan one times four, just cause uh, yeah. So there's K pi. Anyway, uh, back to game. No, first cave bat CC. Let's give this variable a name, shall we? We should call this y. Okay, so this is just gonna move it up and down by one game unit. And that's really not enough to make a difference. We really want it to go up and down a total, like from the top of its peak to the bottom of its peak. Um, total we want it to be five tiles long so we're gonna do we're gonna multiply this by um, units of two game we'll take five units divided by two times that and this will give us a an amplitude of two and a half tile units which will give us a total uh, top to bottom length height wave height of sorry I'm not using the right terminology but it'll be five units total so yeah this will give us what we want so let's see how this works and I'll compile and run run and run yeah the bat's not moving why is the bat not moving? Yeah, okay, so down here I need to convert this degrees to radians like I meant to do, but didn't do. So let's do that. Units, degrees to radians. And maybe now it will do something. So I'll bring this down to the next line because it's hard to see. Actually, wait, before I run it, I don't know why I'm converting it to degrees here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Sorry, that was, I think that's, I was trying to convert my degrees to radians there. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Um, and the other thing I need to do is make sure to initialize this flight angle. Nobody wants undefined behavior, you know? What else am I forgetting to initialize? No, I got the sprite, so. Yeah, we're all good. Um, so I'll build and run. And I'll bring it over so we can look at it. Oh, bask in its beauty. Look at that thing. Mmm. He looks just like the real thing. Except he's not looking at quote, which makes him kind of lifeless. So let's implement that next. <laughs> 